everyone thinks might come in at ya. For the VR render streaming SDK that we've been taking a look at for the past several videos now, one of the key things that is required is setting up a WebRTC server so that your web browser and the Unity streaming application can actually connect and know how they should communicate. For that, for the specific purposes of the SDK, I've gone ahead and set up that WebRTC server on Google Cloud Run. But obviously you might be asking, what is Google Cloud Run? Why should I care? And I'm gonna be answering those questions in this video. Before we jump into it, I'd love to know, have you ever used Google Cloud before? What are your thoughts? If you haven't used it, there's also a referral code down in the description below for you to get a free $50 credit for signing up for Google Cloud. I don't really get anything unless you actually become a paying subscriber to Google Cloud, but it's just an added benefit for trying and testing things out on Google Cloud. To start with, Google Cloud Run is a serverless service that Google provides to make it pretty easy to spin up servers using Docker containers. We've covered Docker containers a couple times previously on the channel, but really quickly, a Docker container is just instructions that are used to wrap up an image of your application that can be very quickly spun up, spun down for servers, very specifically for servers. So what Google Cloud Run allows you to do is just set up a couple parameters for when you want servers to be deployed, how many servers you want deployed based on specific traffic conditions, and then it will automatically take care of spinning those servers up, spinning up and spinning down those servers based on how much traffic you're seeing. So this is the WebRTC Cloud Run service that has been deployed over on Google Cloud. And you can see here, obviously, because this is pretty much an alpha product for the SDK, there's really not that much traffic, which is to be expected. And that's one of the key advantages to Google Cloud Run is that because there's not a lot of traffic, I'm really only paying for when someone is actively testing out the SDK. And you can see here pretty much based on the number of containers that get spun up of this WebRTC server, that's when I ultimately end up paying. And that's really very quick and very efficient. So quite literally here, you can see that there's this quick spike. Someone's testing out the SDK. They stop testing, that server spins down. Similarly, that happens a little bit later and you can kind of see these spikes that happen off and on. If I look in previous data, so like here over the last seven days, for example, you can see kind of more durations of people trying out the SDK, testing things out, longer periods of testing, trial and error. But the, the point being that for any of these down periods, I don't have to pay a thing. And moreover, should there become a lot of traffic and people start using the SDK really rapidly, this has the ability to scale up to meet that demand so that this WebRTC server doesn't get overwhelmed. Now, how is this WebRTC server actually deployed? Which is a pretty good question. So as I mentioned before, Google Cloud Run works off of Docker. And what I've gone ahead and done here is on Docker Hub, I have our WebRTC server that's set up. As we showed in a previous video, this WebRTC server is provided by Unity as part of their render streaming open source package. And you can go ahead and pull it from the web app specifically here. It's just a Node.js code that I've gone ahead and wrapped into an actual Docker container and pushed to Docker Hub. Now, for this specifically, I have a GCP run specific version that you can go ahead and pull. I'll of course leave all these links down in the description below for anyone to check out. But there were just a couple key things that I ran into while actually trying to leverage Google Cloud Run. And I just kind of wanted to share some of those learnings here in this video just because it is a little bit confusing if it's your first time using Google Cloud Run. So for starters, one of the key things that you need to do with Google Cloud Run is you're required to actually take that container and deploy it to the Google Cloud registry. Honestly, if you're just getting started with Google Cloud, it's a little bit confusing as opposed to just using Docker Hub where it, like literally the command is right here for what you have to do. And there are very diff various different authentication methods that they provide. Uh, I specifically had to, to spend a little bit of time digging, but once you kind of figure out how the authentication works, and I'll leave some relevant documentation on how to do that, you can then go ahead, push this into the Google Cloud registry for Docker. So that's step number one, and that's 
one thing you're required to do in order to actually use Google Cloud Run. The second thing is in the troubleshooting, they provide a lot of FAQs for how you can validate that your container is actually set up correctly. And at least with the Unity web app that they provide, one of the things that was actually broken when I tried out using Google Cloud Run is here on their troubleshooting guide where the container in and of itself starts listing on localhost. Now that's actually a problem for Google Cloud Run just due to the specific reasoning of it. But as a result, I had to go ahead and just adapt the application to listen to this specific port here, 000. And that goes ahead and allows it to work on Google Cloud. It's really minor things, but at the same time, the app doesn't work at all unless you actually do this. So it's really important to look through all of this documentation to actually figure out what's happening. But I wanted to at least highlight some of the things that I faced uh, and hopefully that helps someone out if you're ever trying to leverage Google Cloud Run in the future. But with those minor tweaks, we were then able to go ahead, create that specific container for Google Cloud Run, upload that to GCP, and then you can spin that up as a very quick WebRTC instance on Google Cloud Run. And the process really is quite straightforward. If you're creating your first application, it'll look very similar to this specific form here, where you paste in the address of your container, you specify what port you want to use for your application. So in this case, because this is an HTTPS secure connection, we go ahead and list port 443, and then you just define those parameters that your application needs. So in our case, we need at least 256 megabytes, and we only need one CPU because WebRTC is a pretty lightweight container. Uh, you can specify some other parameters here for basically how much you want to scale and what are those ranges that you're, uh, of the number of containers that should exist at any given time. And you can always adapt this. It's very quick to edit and then provide a new version. If we actually go back to my revisions here, you can see I've done tons of revisions on our specific instance here and it's very fast to quickly tweak and then get modified. So it's honestly a really awesome serverless tool to actually go ahead and get really lightweight containers up and running and perfect for our needs here because as I mentioned before, for just testing purposes, which is where the SDK currently is at, not having to pay for not using anything is really nice. So if you're looking into Unity render streaming, you can definitely go ahead and check out Google Cloud Run. Again, there is a referral code down in the description below for you to get an extra $50 for free credit when you sign up. And I definitely encourage you to use that because it's free money. And if you do end up using it, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But I think otherwise, that'll do it for now. Just want to keep this video really short. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something. And until next time, this is Confuse Man, and I'm signing out.